Hi, this is AJ. Welcome to the point of view lesson for small is beautiful. Same story, different points of view, different time frames. Let's go. Since they were children, Jeff has always had great hair. And Michael has always been bald. He's never had hair. When Jeff was a baby, he came out with long, blonde, beautiful hair. He has always had long, blonde, beautiful hair. And Michael has always been bald. From when he was a baby until now. And so, Michael has always envied Jeff's hair. Michael has always wanted hair since he was a little baby. He has always wanted to have great hair. He's always wanted to have long, blonde, beautiful hair like Jeff. Michael has been preoccupied with Jeff's hair every day since he was a little child. He has been totally preoccupied with Jeff's hair since he was a little child. His preoccupation has never abated. Not one day. It has never abated. It has never lessened. It has never gone away. Michael has been preoccupied with Jeff's hair every day. His preoccupation has never abated. In fact, he has gotten more and more envious every day of his life. He has gotten more and more and more envious. Well, one day, Michael finally got into a frenzy. He just went crazy. I must have Jeff's hair. I must have Jeff's hair. Ah! He got into a frenzy on that day. And on that day, he grabbed a big knife. And he went to Jeff's house. He knocked on Jeff's door. <laughs> Jeff opened the door. And Michael said, I must have your hair! I'm going to cut off your hair! And Jeff said, This is absurd. Just buy a wig. And Michael stopped. Suddenly, his preoccupation with Jeff's hair abated. He dropped the knife and became calm. Then he ran to a wig store and he bought a long, blonde, beautiful wig. And he put it on. And every day he wore it. And everyone loved his new hair. Michael was very happy. And Michael and Jeff became very good friends. The end. Okay, our next version. We're going into the future. So perhaps I'm imagining this story now. I'm imagining this story is going to happen in the future. I'm thinking, oh, maybe in the future there's this guy named Jeff. There'll be a guy named Jeff. And in the future, this guy's going to have great hair. In fact, he's going to have long, blonde, beautiful hair. And uh, there'll be another guy. This other guy... He'll be named Michael. And Michael will envy Jeff's hair. He's going to be jealous of Jeff's hair. 
So Michael will envy Jeff's hair. He'll want great hair also. But unfortunately, this guy Michael, he'll be bald. Well, Michael's going to be preoccupied with Jeff's hair every day. Every day, he'll think about Jeff's hair. And his preoccupation won't abate. It won't abate. It'll never abate. In fact, his preoccupation will get stronger and stronger and stronger. He'll grow more envious every day. Finally, one day in the future, he's going to get into a crazy frenzy. Ah! I must have Jeff's hair now! He's going to grab a big knife. And he's going to walk over to Jeff's house. He'll knock on the door. Jeff will open the door. Michael will say, I must have your hair now! Jeff will say, This is absurd. Just buy a wig. And Michael... He'll stop. His preoccupation will suddenly abate. He'll drop the knife. (gasps) He'll become calm. Then he'll run to the nearest wig store and he'll buy a long, blonde, beautiful wig and he'll put it on. He's going to walk around the town with his long, blonde, beautiful wig. And everyone will love his new hair. Michael's going to be so happy. And then he and Jeff will become very good friends. And that is the end of the point of view lesson for Small is Beautiful. Have a big smile. I hope you are also happy, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.